So the surface relationships of the viscera of the abdominal region are going to be limited by the diaphragm, which as we talked before, the diaphragm is going to have this domed shape. Okay, and the last rib is going to be situated just there. So within this space, we're going to have some abdominal viscera, okay, which um, are going to be inside the abdomen, but also inside and covered and protected by the ribs. So the first um, abdominal organ that we need to talk about, and the most cranial one, is going to be the liver, which is going to be situated in between ribs six or seven to nine. Caudal to the liver, we are going to have the stomach, which is mostly on the left-hand side, with the greater curvature coming towards the left-hand side of the dog. The stomach is going to be in between ribs 9 and 11 generally, but this depends as well on the amount of the volume of the stomach. We also have the spleen, which is partially covering the stomach in this region and we will have dorsally the left kidney which is going to be in about there. Caudally to the kidney and just a bit eventually we are going to have the des descending colon which is going to go into the pelvis and ventral to the descending colon we will have the small intestine it's going to be all of that region there specifically the jejunum, moving caudally and in the intrapelvic region we will have the urinary bladder which can also move cranially and ventrally depending on how. So the, sur the fir surface relationships of the abdominal viscera on the right hand side are uh, similar to the ones on the left hand side but we just have to have a few differences in mind. So again we are talking about the doom shape, the dome shape of the diaphragm projected to the cyphoid process. Okay. The first organ, the most cranial organ that we're going to have um, just caudal to the diaphragm is going to be the liver again. The liver is going to be inside the rib cage and we are going to have the medial lobe, ventrally, the lateral lobe, a bit more dorsally. And we are also going to have parts of the caudate lobe more dorsally. The caudate lobe is going to be just cranial to the kidney, to the right kidney. The right kidney sits um, just a little bit more cranial to the left kidney and the right kidney is going to be inside the thoracic cage as well. So it's going to be covered by the last ribs. On this right, on the right region of the abdomen, we're also going to have the descendant duodenum. Next to the du descendant duodenum, we will have the right lobe of the pancreas and as we have also mentioned on the left hand side we are going to have the small intestines specifically the jejunum and also the urinary bladder just inside the pelvic region.